Hey YouTube, um, thought I'd do a video on what I bring to weekend rides to mud events, you know, quad to mud nationals, uh, you know, going down south to Hilla Rosa a couple years ago I went to mud nationals at Mud Creek Off Road Park, rides up in northern Wisconsin, Tigerton ATV Park, Wood County ATV Park, um, stuff like that. Um, Obviously, you bring, you know, your gasoline, you know, extra ratchet straps, all that stuff that a normal person keeps in their truck, and of course, you know, the cooler, you know, for the, for the beer. Got to remember that too. But uh, just from the last five, six years of riding, just some stuff that I bring. I always bring a tote full of uh, parts that I've needed in the past, um, and certain tools and supplies. Um, obviously, I always bring. Uh, my impact guns, as you can see here, um, spare cotter pins, metric bolts, since everything's metric nowadays, um, an extra tie rod. This is just a worn out tie rod, too. Um, but, heck, you've been a tie rod on day two of Quadna, and not too much for Grizzly 700 parts around at the at the tents, so you kind of got to, you want to keep riding. You know, a funnel for oil, if you got to add oil, spare belts. Um, Tire patches, spare lug nuts, thing of grease, um, spare axles for the Grizzly. Um, get them off PowerSportsNation.com. Um, awesome company to deal with. Um, I recommend them to anybody if you just need spare parts, um, honestly. Um, I always bring a ball joint and a couple wheel bearings. Yes, you need special tools for them sometimes to get them out. You know, a vise or a press or, or a ball joint puller. But there's always someone with a vice. Um, you just gotta kind of ask around, make friends with people, um, or like where I'm going this weekend, Labor Day weekend. Uh, I know the local farmers, and they they got full shops up there, so it's it's not bad. You know, extra toggle switch for if my freaking switches go to crap, going too deep in the water, you get water and switches. And your light bar starts flickering on and off. It's kind of a quick, easy change. You know, you bring. PB blaster, can of brake cleaner. I always uh, white lithium grease. I spray that at, at night when I get done riding. I always bring enough oil. Uh, this is just cheap 5W30. Um, if I swamp the Grizzly, uh, you know I'll do three oil changes um, and then put the uh, Mobile One uh, 5W30 synthetic back in my Grizzly. I've been using that. I've swamped that thing twice. Excuse me, three, three times, maybe three times. I swamped it three times and it still doesn't smoke at all. You shut it down right away. I go change oil three times, um, I change the filter twice, and then I throw 5W30 back in, so that'd be the fourth oil change, and it, it's been good. I've also used, um, I don't know if you guys ever heard of this product, Lucas Oil Stabilizer. The stuff's like honey, um, but I do add that every once in a while, just because I've swamped and it creates a film on your, on your internals, uh, it just keeps the dry starts down. Um, obviously more diff fluid. Um, I also I'll also bring AGL and on-demand dry fluid for for the razor. Um, spare wheel bearings for the trailer. Um, spark plugs. Um, obviously filters. I got a Grizzly filter down there. I got uh, two more in the mail tomorrow, along with two more razor filters because I'm running low here. I just got done kind of doing maintenance on everything. Um, Two-part epoxy, quick set. 15 minutes after mixing this stuff, it's solid as a rock already. I love this stuff, highly recommend it for any, just gluing a piece of plastic back together so it stops flopping in the wind. It's it's nuts, I love this stuff. Extra CV grease, this is uh, heat tape. Um, sometimes a piece of tape, heat tape from the exhaust flaws off and it's just kind of a pain in the butt. Um, but I, keep, I bring that along just for shits and giggles. For tools, I always bring a jack. Um, I always I bought this kit off the snap-on truck a while back. It has pretty much every wrench from 10 mil to 19 mil and 3 8 to 7 8 in it up here. And then damn near every most of the sockets that you need. Obviously, there ain't too many deep well deep well sockets um, in this kit, but I'll get that out in a second. Because then I also bring another spare tool toolbox. Um, going down the Hill of Rosa last year, I had two wheel bearings go bad. One on the way down, one on the way back. 
on my trailer and it sucked. I didn't have wheel bearings. First one we ended up finding in Springfield, Illinois on the way down there. Got lucky. Good thing I had chisels and all that. I brought that grease along so I could repack all the bearings. I I didn't have to spend, uh, it, was, it was, I had most of the tools. You know, I had, uh, the spindle got a little bad. Filed that down. But just stupid shit you don't really think of. You know, putty knife. Just a knife, uh, just a simple knife like that to cut a piece of plastic off. Screwdrivers, uh, spare wrenches. Um, down here I got every pliers you're gonna need, wire cutters, um, 3 8 drive breaker bars, half inch drive breaker bar down there, 24, 27 millimeter wrench for some of the bigger nuts on the Grizzly, um, um, impact driver, deep well sockets, and Allen's. Um, I got Torx in down in there, um, obviously the uh, clutch puller tool for the razor. And then I also carry the 24, 27 millimeter sockets, 13, 16 socket for uh, my trailer lug nuts, 22 mil for my truck. It's just stuff I've learned over the years to, you just kind of think about and make sure you bring it along if you're going on a long trip. Uh, especially with, you know, it's not a normal vacation a lot of times when you when you ride because you come, come home with more work than you do when you leave. Um, bring dry boxes for, for riding, especially if you're a mud and uh, deep water rider, rider like me. Even if I'm on hard packed trails. For some reason, if I see water, guess where I'm going. I gotta go test the, test the deep depths. I've tried different ones over the years. They don't recommend this. This is basically can barely fit your iPhone with a couple dollar bills in it. This one's too small for most phones. Just get the biggest one you can find. This one always works good for me. I use this one. I keep my registration, extra fuses my license for riding in Wisconsin here, and obviously, Spare Grizzly Greg. Please subscribe on YouTube, Can Koozies. If you ever see me out on the trails or at an event, just let me know, I usually have these on demand. Um, I don't send them out to anybody, but I, if you run into me, mention it, I'll give them to you. But, just a quick video um, of kind of what, this is pretty much what I would bring. Um, in the future here, once I start having more problems with the Razor, um, I might end up bringing some different stuff for the razor stuff that I will, I'll figure out goes bad. You know, I the issue with that, or most of the time with this, is there's so much stuff out there at tents for for razors. You know, everybody's got everybody's got wheel bearings and ball joints and spare axles and and bushings and belts and clutches and whatever might go bad. You know, and if it's something other than that, usually you can limp it through the weekend and still give her hell. So. But yeah, stay tuned. I got a big ride here Labor Day weekend. Um, uh, gonna have a good crew up to uh, up, up by the land. It's gonna be all private land, but it's gonna we're gonna find the mud. If the mud is there, we'll find it. So, but hey, thanks for watching, and everybody have a good and safe Labor Day.